What's up guys, Jack here back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Bitcoin Private, what it is, what the hell's going on with it, and if it's gonna be supported for the future or not. So let's get into the video. First of all, we're gonna be taking a look at the Bitcoin price, and oh boy, oh boy, have we seen some nice price action recently. It did hit 10K, it did pass 10K, but it's struggling and it's finding a little bit of support uh, and resistance at 10K. So most people did know that it would get over 10K very soon in the next few weeks or, or days. A lot of people called on that, including myself. And uh, it did in fact get over 10K, which is very nice. But also uh, people did say that we would have a small pullback before it hit 10K. And it's not just going to go straight through 10K blasting over to 15K. That's not going to happen. We're probably going to see highs in the next few weeks of maybe 12 and a half, 13 uh, 13,500, something like that. Maybe another pullback below nine. And then maybe then uh, in the next month or so, we could see a rally up to 15 or higher. So definitely great things coming for Bitcoin in the near future. Ethereum as well is doing great. Ripple still $1.12. Not a bad buy under a dollar with all the recent news which has been going on with Ripple. Uh, maybe picking some up my f some myself. I know it's not decentralized, but hey, um, it could be a pretty safe bet for the future. Litecoin 226, this has been going crazy with LightPay, Litecoin Cash Fork, everything like that. Very, very interesting. EOS under $10 is still a great buy. I have around 1,000 EOS. Uh, I'm pretty bullish on that. And also Nebulous is a great buy under $10 as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the markets going on. Um, some pretty nice price action recently. Uh, if you are trading, then it's pretty nice times actually to be trading. Uh, and yeah, before we get into the video, I wanted to mention CryptThreads. Uh, my crypto clothing website we currently have shipping to the us for a dollar international shipping for three dollars and if you spend over fifty dollars which is like a hoodie and a t-shirt it's free shipping if you wanted to change the price you can just use the top up here like so and i actually now accept payments um with cryptocurrency so if you did want to go ahead and order something and spend some of your crypto gains which we all have if you've been in crypto anywhere longer than a few months just come over to the checkout section come down here and select coinbase commerce this is the new coinbase commerce which has actually just recently come out so it's pretty new pretty innovative uh, and yeah once you just go over here you just click review order click on com complete order and then it will redirect you over here and you can simply use um your crypto to pay for to pay for some t-shirts and stuff bitcoin bitcoin cash ethereum and litecoin that's pretty much it, uh, pretty innovative stuff. So it's definitely great to support uh, new innovative platforms. So yeah, let's get into the video. Bitcoin private. Now I know we have seen a whole lot of basically whoring of the Bitcoin, Bitcoin brand recently. We've had Bitcoin cash, Bitcoin gold. There's just so many, now we've got Bitcoin private. Could it be good for the community? Well, who knows? Uh, it's definitely gonna take time to find that out. But the snapshot date is February 28th, 2018, which we are only around a week or less away. The fork date and mainnet launch will be approximately two days later. Now you might be wondering why Bitcoin private? Well, as they outline on their website, it's private. Yeah, <laughs> it's decentralized, of course, because it's forking off Bitcoin. Uh, it's fast, community driven, a fair start, no pre-mine, which is nice and open source. Um, publicly available a bit available for viewing uh, and verification by anyone yeah it's not bad so th they claim it's going to be a hard fork now you can have your opinions about that down in the comments below a hard fork is something like uh, bitcoin then bitcoin cash um, but this is kind of merging two currencies together uh, it's taking bitcoin the bitcoin chain and the z classic chain z classic classic is already a fork of zcash so it's mixing Bitcoin, which is a main uh, crypto, and it's mi mixing a forked version of Zcash, which is Z Classic, and they're mi mixing together they're using Bitcoin and Z Classic chain. Z Classic being the privacy uh, privacy coin, uh, and Bitcoin, of course, being Bitcoin using the Bitcoin brand. That is one of the main reasons why they're doing it because of the Bitcoin brand. So as I said before, snapshot date 28th of February, uh, launch is two days later. So what is a hard fork? If you might uh, want to know that, I basically briefly explained it. But a hard fork is when a single, single cryptocurrency splits into two. It occurs when a currency's existing code is changed, resulting in both old and new version. For example, Bitcoin, the old version, old version, the core version, however you want to say it, Roger Ver, uh, and Bitcoin Cash, the new version. Uh, so yeah, this case is somewhat unique though, whereby Z Classic 
and BTC will be co-forked into Bitcoin private. BTC P. Uh, so 28th of February, I've said that. When will the hard fork occur? A snapshot of all existing Z Classic and BTC holdings will occur. Anyone holding Z Classic or Bitcoin in a wallet supported uh, in a wallet or supported exchange will be credited Bitcoin Private as a one-to-one -one ratio. For example, if you hold 15.4 Z Classic and 0.1 Bitcoin, you will receive 15.5 Bitcoin Private. Example, break it down even simpler. If you hold 10 Bitcoin, which is a lot, you're going to get 10 Bitcoin Private. Whereas if you hold 10 Z Classic, you're still going to get 10 Bitcoin Private. So you might think, why would I hold 10 Bitcoin unless I already do, if I could just hold 10 Z Classic. Well, that's exactly what the market has been doing and that's exactly what the market has been thinking. Why would you try and pick up 10 Bitcoin for 100,000 or something like that when you could just pick up 10 Z Classic for around $16,000? Still a lot of money, yes, you don't have to pick up 10, you can pick up one if you want. But we can see here the pump in the market recently it went from around under 100 bucks a few days ago. Now it's up to $163. And I assume that price will uh, rise even more uh, before the fork on the 28th, which is just in a few days or a week now. So basically, uh, this price will definitely be pumping more, but I would be careful holding Z Classic. Once Z Classic has been pumped, there definitely will be a dump afterwards, without a doubt. I don't think Z Classic can support this price. They do say in their FAQ that uh, the community will still be supporting Z Classic. Uh, we can go over here to the FAQ. And what happens to Z Classic after the fork? Z Classic will still exist. The community has dis uh, discussed keeping Z Classic in active development after the fork. We think it's great and fully support this. Now, there is a bit of drama going on behind this because the creator of um bitcoin private and the creator of z classic is actually the same person now what people are saying that he's doing is he's just forking off other successful coins and blockchains just for his own benefit now if you think that that's fine i'm not really sure about my opinion i don't know enough about the person but the the ceo here is Rhett craigton we can go over and check out his twitter like so Creator of Z Classic, Bitcoin Private, and Whale Coin. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if he's doing it for his own personal gain. Uh, it's definitely, it could well be a nice addition to the community having a private Bitcoin forked version. But I think he's kind of leeching off the brand a little bit too much. He leached off the Zcash brand and got Z Classic, and now he's leeching off the Bitcoin brand and he's got Bitcoin Private. Whatever you think about that, definitely let me know down in the comments below. So it was announced on Reddit a while ago. We can see it a month ago, approximately one week ago myself and more RCVX, uh, the original Z Classic founder, announced that we are planning more active development with the Z Classic. We've decided that one way to help um, revitalize the coin is to create a Bitcoin fork similar to Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Gold, but appending the UTXO set in Bitcoin as Coinbase inputs on top of the Z Classic blockchain. Under this scenario, existing Z Classic holders keep one Z Classic. Bitcoin holders also get to keep one Z Classic. Supply increases 16.75 million coins, which is the Bitcoin supply right now. The community will split uh, will split about this proposal. So they basically announced it on Reddit and they were advertising for engineers, software engineers, social media organizers, and people down below were reaching out saying, hey, I worked at this, I can push the brand to this. Um, it definitely is a community driven coin, which is nice. I do like to see that. But I don't like the fact that it's leeching off um, Bitcoin, uh, as they did with Zcash. So you can have your own opinions about this. Some exchanges are supporting it, some aren't. Uh, basically, Zcash, classic, a little history on it. Zclassic is a cryptocurrency with the optional ability to keep the sender, receiver and, and amount private in a given transaction basically a privacy coin fork from Zcash. Zclassic uses the same source code of Zcash, but without granting access rights to specific individuals or groups, such as a founder's reward or pre-mine. So definitely interesting stuff. Zclassic, I'm not a big fan of it. It's hugely pumped right now. I would not, nah, you can buy some if you want, but definitely you have to understand the risks that after the fork happens and you get your Bitcoin private, 
Z Classic will be dropping. I mean, previous support for this coin is around give or take a hundred bucks. Uh, give or take around a hundred. Uh, yeah, around a hundred bucks, hundred and twenty bucks is the previous support. Um, so you could well see the, the the price come back down to that, which is pretty much a sixty percent loss right now. But if you're able to sell your Z Classic right after the fork, you may profit by selling it at a high amount and also getting Bitcoin private. Me, on the other hand, I have a few Bitcoin. Um, I'm just going to hold my Bit my Bitcoin and get the Bitcoin private from that. That's good enough. I'll get a few uh, a few Bitcoin private. Uh, and that's good enough for me. A bit of news, Cryptopia, uh, not the biggest exchange, but nevertheless, uh, they're actually uh, not going to be supporting the fork. We are aware of the concerns of our users about Z Classic and the upcoming fork. The coin has been in our maintenance for a while now, but have been connections as of 15.2, uh, which was yesterday, and the backlog of withdrawals are being processed. We will continue to monitor the status of processing withdrawals and will give an update when the wallet is currently working correctly. We will not be supporting the Z Classic and Bitcoin private fork, but we assure you where we have all withdrawals working well before the 24th of February, so you can participate in the fork. So basically, uh, a lot of people are going to want to take their coins off an exchange because there's a lot of shady stuff that goes on with exchanges. Um, for example, the whole uh, Coinbase and Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, everything like that. A lot of exchanges are a bit shady and they do keep your forked coins. So a lot of people like to take their, take their coin off the exchange and keep it in their own wallet. That way that there's no um, availability for these um, giant exchanges like Bittrex, Coinbase, Cryptopia. There's no uh, possibility that they can keep the Bitcoin private. That is why. Uh, so yeah, that's basically that. Bitcoin private, um, think of it what you like. Definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm just gonna be holding my Bitcoin to get it. I'm not gonna be buying any Z Classic, definitely not. But yeah, the development team, I mean, it looks good. They've got previous um, projects that they worked on. They've been very successful. Uh, I mean, Z Classic is in itself a successful coin. The market cap is 550 million. Volume, 11, <laughs> 11 million, 11.3 million, last 24 hours. That could well be pumped up. Well, it's not could well. It is pumped up because of the fork, upcoming fork. I'm personally just going to be holding Bitcoin, and I suggest you do too, as it's a lot safer than risking buying into this pump. So thanks for watching, guys. Definitely check out cryptthreads.com for crypto clothing, and I'll see you in the next video.